Welcome to Get Healthy with Dr. Cooper. Discover the secrets to amazing health and longevity. Learn how lifestyle medicine, the vaccine for chronic diseases, can profoundly influence mind and body. Learn simple solutions such as healthy nutrition, exercise, strong family bonding, stress management, and spiritual renewal will empower you to live a longer, healthier, and more abundant life. And now, here's Dr. Donna Cooper. Statistics shows that every year, 1.7 million people in the United States are diagnosed with cancer. And of those 1.7 million or so, 700,000 people will die of cancer. Do you have cancer? Do you know how to prevent cancer? Yes, I said prevent because cancer is indeed preventable. My name is Dr. Cooper Dockery and welcome to Get Healthy. Get Healthy is a program designed to educate and inspire you to use lifestyle changes to live a happier and healthier lifestyle. Welcome again to Get Healthy with Dr. Cooper. Your doctor delivered some bad news, but the good news is Dr. Cooper's book, Get Healthy for Life, can save your life. Order today at drdonnacooper.com or call 1-844-343-8935. Dr. Donna Cooper invites you to connect with us. Like us and share our social media networks. You can watch repeat programs of our shows anytime on Vimeo. Find us on our website at drdonnacooper.com. Welcome back to Get Healthy with Dr. Cooper. Our topic today is cancer. How can we prevent that C word? And we left off with Dr. Tamayo talking about trigger factors. We only discussed a few trigger factors, and that radiation and certain chemicals in food. Now, I know there are other trigger factors, alcohol and radiation to the chest and certain chemotherapy can also cause cancer. Lack of vitamin D can also cause cancer yes. because vitamin D is a gene modulator, Yes. All right? So I always suggest to the patient, ask your doctor to check your vitamin D level. Mm -hmm. If the level is low, then get a supplement. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Do you want to mention any trigger factors before we move on to what should we then do? Any other trigger factors? Yes, uh, there, there are those who are thinking of uh, those that uh, are used in raising these uh, plants, plant foods. Okay. So for example, pesticides, mm -hmm. insecticides, and those other, other chemicals. That's why we have to be very careful with uh, the use of uh, of the food. The so food. it's not just uh, uh, the fruits and vegetables uh, or anything else, but we should be very choosy of which uh, food to take. And now another thing is that uh, if these insecticides and chemicals would be used, they are used before they are harvested, long before they are harvested, so that uh, the uh, fruits and vegetables should be better in using rather than taking meat because they are more harmful as compared to the fruits and the vegetables. That's right. Mm -hmm. So the saturated fats, mm -hmm. those are things we have to avoid. Mm -hmm. Saturated fats, that is from the red meat mm -hmm. because that's going to increase your risk not only for cancer but for diabetes, for mm -hmm. obesity, hypertension, all of that. You know, nowadays I keep telling uh, my patients that I'm going to give you the good food that you need to consume because we don't want to scare them off. So audience, we're going to be telling you more or less what are some good foods you need to consume so you can live longer and healthier. Why don't we walk over there? We're going to get some questions. Come along with me. 
we have some people on the street collecting questions. So Dr. Tamayo, we're going to stand here and we're going to take some questions. They're going to be probably asking us about what food to consume or question on food. So why don't we go to the first question? Thank you, Dr. Cooper. Today I'm here with Christian Leod. He has a very important question for you. I wanted to know what foods I can eat to decrease my risk of cancer. All right. I think that's a fantastic question. A lot of people are searching, searching for answers. What can they do naturally to protect themselves from cancer? So would you like to answer Chris Leal's question? What food can he consume to prevent risk of cancer? Okay, in terms of prevention, I would like to emphasize here the fruits and vegetables. Why? Because with fruits, they have vitamin C, very high in vitamin C. You know, among all of the antioxidant vitamins, vitamin C is the center of it, which means that uh, fruits should not be cooked. That's right. <laughs> because vitamin C is uh, basic vitamin C is uh, denatured uh -huh. with even just a very slight heat. And of course, we have micronutrients, as we call them generally, for vitamins A, C, and E. And you mentioned about vitamin D. Mm -hmm. And we get them basically from fruits and vegetables. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. So uh, here, uh, we, we would like to challenge each one that uh, they have to incorporate at least one meal per day where they have to focus on fruits and vegetables. That's right. Mm -hmm. So he asks what food should he consume? So we need to tell him he can mm -hmm. consume the cruciferous vegetables. Mm -hmm. Studies have shown that cruciferous vegetables have high concentration of antioxidants mm -hmm. that are important to prevent cancer. Mm -hmm. So what are cruciferous vegetables? Cabbage, Cabbage. cauliflower, Colored greens, broccoli, kale, all these are important. Of course, all fruits yes. for the vitamin C. So vitamin A, C, E, and D, and D. these are antioxidant vitamins that can prevent cancer. Let's go to the next question. Let's see what it's all about. Dr. Cooper, once again, I'm here with... Uh, my, my, asking is, my question is... Uh, if some foods can increase the risk of cancer. Hmm. All right. Very interesting. If some foods uh -huh. can increase the risk of cancer. Yes. I sure. think we mentioned that in the early part of the yes. show, uh -huh. but I think it's good to repeat the foods uh -huh. that will increase the risk of cancer. Dr. Tamai, you want to start? Yes. Uh, of course, at uh, first we think of uh, meat and meat products, processed and processed uh, foods. Mm -hmm. Yes, so those are the ones that would increase your risk of developing cancer because these are the ones that would uh, contain most of these carcinogenic chemicals. Right, mm -hmm. right. And we did mention, people might wonder, what are processed foods? So foods that are, for example, salted. Mm -hmm. There is a chemical, the nitrates. Yes. That will increase the risk of cancer. Ham and bacon, um, mm -hmm. all these sandwich meats, mm -hmm. red meats, these mm -hmm. meats will increase the risk for cancer. Mm -hmm. Alcohol. Alcohol can cause fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease will lead to liver cirrhosis and then liver cancer. So we have to be very careful with the actual foods we eat. Mm -hmm. Alcohol also will increase the risk of breast cancer. Ladies, if you drink more than three alcoholic beverages a week, mm -hmm. you increase your risk for breast cancer by 15%. So indeed, the food we consume could either be causing diseases or curing us. Am I yes, right? Yes. A right. And uh, in addition here, our consumption of uh, refined foods, Yes. Refined foods, and including refined sugar. That's correct. And uh, yes, once we increase our sugar level in the bloodstream, that means also that some of these white blood cells that are supposed to attack any of these uh, carcinogens or any of these uh, trigger factors would be actually killed. 
That's right. With increased sugar level in the bloodstream. Right. I had a patient who mm -hmm. asked me a couple of days ago, um, does this have sugar? I said, why do you ask? She said, mm -hmm. oh, I have ovarian cancer and I cannot consume sugar. So yes, sugar weakens the immune system. For yes. us to be able to fight cancer, we need mm -hmm. a strong immune system mm -hmm. to fight the cancer. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. one of the therapy for any cancer right now is immune therapy, yes. where we boost the immune system to fight the cancer. Yes. So why not boost the system naturally by mm -hmm. consuming the healthy foods and then rejecting those things that are not good for our health? Am I right? Yes. I in fact, if uh, our immune system is working pretty well, uh, y you know, we have these white blood cells who are able to devour those cancer cells. So, for example, if, you, if a person develops the, the, at the, the initial, initial level or initial stage, stage of cancer, of cancer mm -hmm. yes, even if cancer cells are there, if the immune system is working pretty well, then these uh, white blood cells are able to devour those cancer cells and suppress the disease suppress process. the disease process which means that if we just stay high on our immune response that means that we could actually reverse the disease process very good you know what we're going to be taking a break we'll be right back on how you can boost your system to fight cancer don't go away we'll be right back Meet Sarah, a normal girl like you. But Sarah had a big problem. Sarah was overweight, and thus increased her risk of dying young. But luckily for Sarah, she discovered Dr. Cooper's complete weight loss solution, and now the problem is gone. In this solution, there's a set of DVDs, 40 cooking videos, exercise DVDs with exercise band, Dr. Cooper's book, 14 Days to Amazing Health, with over 100 delicious recipes and helpful tips. What are you listening to me for? Listen to what they have to say. I was able to lose 20 pounds, not, I didn't want to, which helped me to drop my high blood pressure medication. My mother lost 50 pounds and no longer takes diabetic medicine through the program. And I've learned a lot. I've learned that I can prevent any disease by having a healthy lifestyle. So I lost eight pounds, yes. I came to Dr. Cooper, I had diabetes. Uh, within maybe two months, I was doing better. I'm off my medication. I continue to do exercise and uh, follow a diet. Follow Dr. Cooper's uh, directions and everything will be for a suggestive donation of $49, we'll send this complete kit to you. Go to my website, drdonnacooper.com or 1-844-343-8935. Welcome back to Get Healthy with Dr. Cooper. I'm here with Dr. Tamaya. We're discussing cancer how we can actually prevent cancer. I use the word prevent because we can prevent cancer. We can prevent That's cancer. That's right. Definitely. That's yes. right. And this is the food segment where we're going to be talking a little bit more about how you can use food to prevent cancer. Doctor, you want to start? All right. So let, let's start with those foods that are high in vitamin C. Because we, uh, we said earlier that vitamin C is the star of all the antioxidant vitamins. So let's see. Uh, we have fruits here. Uh, you're familiar with... Uh, grapefruit. Grapefruit, mm -hmm. yes. This has very high vitamin C content. Okay. And oranges. Then we have the oranges. Uh-huh. Oranges. 
we are just so blessed here in the valley because we have a lot what of What valley? Because this, this show goes worldwide. So in the uh, Rio Grande Valley, uh, Rio Grande we Grande have valley. a lot of citrus. <laughs> yes, right? we have a lot of citrus and very uh, sweet, delicious citrus. So here we have vitamin C, lots of yes. vitamin C. If we have, we have lemon, also here. okay, yes. what's that? That's cherries or the, what are those? Yes, these are cherries. Already. Yes. So mm. vitamin C is a strong antioxidant yes. to prevent cancer. Mm -hmm. Now, if you had lemon, lemonoids yes. are a great mm -hmm. antioxidant mm -hmm. to prevent cancer. So any yes. citrus fruits. Yes, any citrus fruits or generally uh, the, all fruits. the fruits, mm -hmm. including even these ones. These are high in beta carotene but yet they also have high vitamin C content. That's right. Mm -hmm. But you know that carotenoids and beta carotenoids, mm -hmm. these are powerful anti-cancerous chemicals. Yes. And then we have green leafies. Yes. And we mentioned the uh, cruciferous vegetables. Mm -hmm. They are very high in beta carotenoid as well, mm -hmm. antioxidants, 3-indole, mm -hmm. um, carbonyl. Yes. This is studies have shown that cruciferous vegetables mm -hmm. can prevent not only colon cancer but prostate cancer breast cancer yes. and uh, aside from those uh, ace said vitamins that we mentioned uh -huh. there are specific phytochemicals that we find from fruits and vegetables right yes. for example onion onion mm -hmm. these are great to prevent cancer yes garlic yes wonderful to prevent cancer and so all of this here mm -hmm. They are anti-inflammatory as Anti-inflammatories, well. mm -hmm. antioxidant, mm -hmm. all the vitamin A, uh, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. C, vitamin D, which we don't have here, vitamin yes. E from our nuts. Mm -hmm. These are wonderful. And if we had grains like um, oatmeal, yes. brown rice. Brown rice. Yes. Wonderful yes. with, <laughs> with yes. chemicals phytates yes. that are also anti-cancerous. Yes, and, and I would like to mention also here, this is cilantro. Mm -hmm. We have uh, generally herbs. All herbs contain zinc and iron, very high in vitamin D, B as well. And so these are important in preventing cancer and at the same time, this could reverse the, the uh, disease process. That's right. Yes. So everything here could be medicine. Mm -hmm. So as you're watching us, if you're thinking of changing your lifestyle, mm -hmm. if you don't want to get cancer, and I know you don't want to get cancer, mm -hmm. then make sure at home you have lots of fruits and vegetables on your table. Mm -hmm. Doctor, thank you so much for coming. Yes. And I hope You're to have welcome, you Dr. again Cooper. soon. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Are you tired of being sick and tired and ready to take back control of your health? If so, Dr. Donna Cooper and her team are ready to help. To order her books or the DVD series, Get Healthy for Life and 14 Days to Amazing Health, Call 1-844-343-8935 or go to drdonnacooper.com today. Your doctor delivered some bad news, but the good news is Dr. Cooper's book, Get Healthy for Life, can save your life. Order today at drdonnacooper.com or call 1-844-343-8935. And we're back. Did you know that only 25% of Americans receive regular physical exercise daily? No wonder the incidence of diabetes and obesity is on the rise. Today in our Living Active segment, we have something special for you. Ramsey, what do we have? Yes, ma'am. Uh, today we have a core exercise that we're gonna try to do. Um, we have our two beautiful ladies, uh, Denise and Cynthia. Denise is gonna be showing us our basics and uh, Cynthia is gonna be showing us our more advanced. Okay, so what we're gonna get into is a regular crunch, uh, something basic, you can do this at home, laying down in, on your floor, laying down on your carpet. Um, you can do this easily, okay? So what we're gonna do, she's gonna come up and try to touch your ankles. Boom, one, there you go, come on, give me a good four, give me a good four. 
Notice how she tries to bring her shoulders off the back, off the, off the floor. There you go. One more, one more, one more. And she's just trying to come up as high as she can. This one we're gonna try to do, this one we're gonna try to do at least 12 to 15 times, three to four sets, depending on how your stature is. Um, try to uh, differentiate yourself uh, accordingly, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna have our, our arms away from us. Oh, actually we're gonna come all the way up, all the way up, boom. Crunch, there you go, crunch. Now we're not having our arms to our sides, we're gonna have it all the way up, okay? This is for the more advanced people. What we're gonna notice here is that she's gonna come all the way up, back is completely off the floor, and we're gonna just try to do this a good 15 to 20 times, three to four sets. 15 to 20 times, three to four sets, okay? Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, awesome. Now what we have next is gonna be the windshield wipers. Windshield wipers, we're gonna keep our leg at a 90 degree angle, hand under our butt, and we're gonna try to touch each side. There you go. Go as far as you can, go as far as you can. This one is gonna feel a little bit awkward. Try to focus on having your hands under your butt and keeping them there, um, and try to just focus on trying to touch each side, each side. Again, we're gonna go 10 and 10 each side, three to four sets, depending on how you're feeling after the first one, okay? That's gonna be three to four sets, 20 and 10 on each side, 20 total. Okay, now over here, we're gonna have our hands away from our body, and we're gonna go side to side. There you go. Now this one again is, is very, very tough, um, but we're gonna try to push you to go 12 to 15 times, three sets. 12 to 15 times, three sets, okay? Good job, good job, good job. There you go, there you go. So now what we're gonna do is a six inch raise. Six inch raise, good job. Let's go, bring it up. Hands are gonna be under the butt for the basic portion of it. Keep it up, there you go. Now we're gonna sustain ourselves 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Now we're gonna try to go six to eight times, so it's gonna be three to four minutes. Three to four minutes. Depending on how your stature is, try to do it accordingly, okay? So the same thing's gonna happen here, except our hands are away from the body. Now we're staying up. Hands, feet a little bit lower, feet a little bit lower, right there. This one, we are gonna feel it a lot more, so 30 seconds, again, same thing, six to eight, six to eight, but that hands away from the body is really gonna distinguish that big difference. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, go ahead and bring it down. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna have it a single leg raise. A single leg raise, coming all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. On this one, the feet can be on the floor, hand on, hand on your butt, okay? This we can do at the bottom uh, of, you know, in our living rooms we can do this, we can do this in our bedrooms, it's easy, okay? But here we're gonna try to focus 15 times each leg. 15 times each leg, three sets, three sets and focus on bringing it all the way up. Again, some of us aren't that flexible, so focus on bringing it as high as you can, okay? Now over here on this side, we're gonna relatively use the six inch combo with it. So now we're gonna come up, single. There you go, but hold it six inches on the bottom. There you go, boom, coming up, coming up. Now this one again, 12 to 15 times, three sets. This is gonna be a lot tougher, so really push yourself to do those 15, but if you can't, shut it down to 12. Good job, good job, good job. Now we're gonna do the figure four. Figure four, now we're gonna bring the opposite, the, the affected knee, the opposite elbow is gonna come across the body, all the way up, all the way up, boom, there you go. Notice how she's twisting her core, really focusing on that ab. Come all the way up, all the way up. Now on this portion, the advanced portion, we're gonna do the same thing, similar concept, except the hand is gonna come all the way across the knee, and we're gonna try to cross the elbow. Focus on more trunk twists, okay? These are gonna be the same sets. We're gonna go three, three by 12, three by 15, okay? Three by 12, three by 15. Focus on how you do it and do it accordingly. Don't try to overdo yourself on one side and do be too, and, uh, be too tired to do the other side, okay? Okay, last one. Last one, we have the reverse mountain climbers on this side. Hands are under our butts. And we're just coming up, all the way up. Try to keep your feet up. If you can't um, keep your feet up, keep them leveled, keep them leveled. Go ahead and bring your, uh, now touch it on the floor, touch it on the floor, keep your feet on the floor. Now bring one, one at a time, one at a time. If you can't do too much ab uh, muscle exercises, just do something like this. Yeah, at least we'll get started. We'll get started, we'll get it going. Now this one we wanna do 30 seconds, and if you're not gonna do uh, in seconds, do 30 reps each leg. Again, six to eight times if we're doing time, okay? Now we're, way, now 
On the advanced portion, we'll keep the hands away from the body. Keep them leveled, keep them leveled, right there. Now this room, we're gonna go straight time. We're gonna go 30 seconds, eight times. So it's gonna be a total of four minutes. Really push yourself to extend that leg all the way out and bring it as high as you can. There you go, good job. Alrighty, that concludes our core exercise. Hopefully, uh, Dr. Cooper did enjoy. Randy, this was wonderful. I noticed we worked the entire body. Yes, ma'am. Upper body, lower body, the glutes, the abs, everything was worked, right? Yes, so listen, if you really want to live a long and happy life, you need to exercise 30 minutes, 45 minutes every day, and your children up to one hour a day. We'll be right back. We have much more for you, so don't go away. Thank you. So in the show today, we briefly introduce you to the fact that you can actually prevent cancer. There are many factors that you need to consider if you want to prevent cancer. Of course, nutrition is number one. Preventing the food that are high in additives, food that are high in animal fats, and increasing the consumption of more fruits and vegetables. That's where you'll obtain nutrients such as vitamin A, beta carotenoids, vitamin C, vitamin E, folic acid. These are all important. But exercise, exercise is also important for you to have good health. Exercise will increase, boost your immune system, and therefore give you the chance to fight cancer. Stress management is also important. Managing the stress well is important for your system to fight cancer. And of course, most importantly, is having faith. Trust in God is so important. Studies have shown that people who meditate, who pray, people who have a faith community tend to live longer. They have less chronic diseases. Relationship with your family is also important. I would like you to continue to watch the show as I give you valuable information on how you can use healthy lifestyle changes to improve your health. You can follow me on Facebook. You can get more information at my website. There are supplements that I have, books that I have written that will give you the information you're seeking on how to prevent chronic diseases and live until you're 99. God wants you to be happy. God wants you to have good health. It's written all over his word. Third John 2, it says, Beloved, I wish above all that you prosper, but yet be in good health. I want you to continue to follow me and I'll give you more information at the next show, same time. This broadcast was sponsored by Cooper Wellness Center and Faithful Path International Ministries. For more information on how to become a patient or a sponsor, please contact us at 1-844-343-8935 or visit our website at drdonnacooper.com.